M0 FXB, let's have a go at calibrating the Nano VNA using the software. Not done this before, so we're going to connect to device. It automatically found my VNA, which is connected via USB C. So it's just a small 2.8 version. So we're now going to select calibrate. And we've got this window. We do have a calibration assistant now. It says uncalibrated. So calibration assistant. The calibration assistant will help you create a calibration in the Nano Saver application. It will sweep the standard for you and guide you through the process. Before starting, ensure you have the open, short, and load standards available and the cables you wish to have calibrated with the device connected. If you want a two-port calibration, also have a through connector. So we don't want that. Um, so here goes. The best resu results are achieved by having Nano VNA calibrated on device for full span of interest and save the slot zero before starting. The best results are achieved by having the Nano VNA calibrated on device for full span of interest and save to save slot zero before starting. OK. Once you are ready, press OK. All right, let's do that. Connect the short. So I've got the short. So I've got the short. Is it not all normally the short first, is it? Uh, OK, well, it's saying connect the short. Normally, I connect the open first, but I'm going to connect the short because that's what it's telling me to do. The short is the gold one with the pointy bit. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the gold. I thought we'd try and put it in front there, the pointy bit. Um, so let's screw that on. I've connected it. Click OK. Please connect the open. So the open one has got a hole in the middle. So we've got that. So it's like a gold one. And if you look inside, you see like an O. It's like a, there's no plastic bit inside. It's just gold and O. Okay, I'm going to click OK. Please connect the load. The load one, so I'll take that off. And we, the load one is like a bit longer and has a plastic bit inside. So we're going to do that. Click OK. Right, the required steps for a one port calibration are now complete. If you wish to continue to perform two port calibration, press yes. To apply the one port calibration, press apply. So that's fine. So we are now calibrated. OK. Save calibration. Oh, we're at, so we can actually save that. So. Let's save that in my nano folder, which I have here somewhere. Nano VNA, and we'll call it, I don't know, saved. Save. Right. And that's it, really. So we can load other ones that have been saved here. Look, look load calibration. So that's fine. Um, well, I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> we would load it, and I have connected my antenna. We set. Seven Oh, actually, no, I haven't. The antenna needs to be reconnected now. So take off the load and reconnect my G5RV, which is like so. It doesn't show much. Should we change the? We'll change the sort of frequency range. So we'll tap it, and we'll s we'll hit. Uh, let's have a look now. Frequency range, we can go, uh, we're looking for stimulus, and we'll go start. We'll start at 3 megs, megahertz, and we'll finish at, say, 20. So stop, 20 megahertz. Now, you're meant to, um, I think, recalibrate after this. But anyway, we've done that. So we're showing some stuff here. S11 return loss. So that is SWR. Now, if you want to select SWR, you find on the actual nano device, you find the bit that's called, it says format. So you'd think there'll be a, se a section on here. Set current reference. Time domain, show data, leisure markers. Sweep. We did a sweep. We've got all these figures here. 
Not seeing loads, are we? No. So I need to learn all this. But anyway, we have calibrated it. Files display setup. Smith chart. What's this one here? There's all these ones here. Okay, well I'm gonna watch a few video uh, videos how to set how to make better use of this, but I just showed you the calibration, the automatic calibration process. Seven three, thanks for watching, all the best.